And I just want to explain something really quick. When you look at a circle, what's a circle? You've got a point, okay, which is considered the center point, right? And then what you're doing is, you, a circle is really the set of points, okay, that are equidistant, okay, from a given point, you know, that given point called the center, right? So when you measure the distance from that center, okay, to any point on the circle, let's just call that point x, y, you know, it's a fixed distance away. And that distance we call the radius, right? So now if you remember the distance formula, remember how the distance formula is like this? It's uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and then we take the square root, right? Well, in this case, our two points are gonna be uh, these two points here, we're gonna find that distance between them. So here we have x minus h, okay, so we're subtracting the x coordinates, squaring, y minus k, so we're subtracting those and we're squaring, and then we're taking the square root, and that distance is equal to the radius, so we're gonna call that r. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna square both sides of this equation, so we get r squared equals x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, like that. Now, when you learn the distance formula, they actually, you know, flip this over. So let's go ahead and rewrite this slightly. So x minus h squared plus y minus k, the quantity squared, equals the radius squared. So this is our equation for a circle. But the reason I mention this and the reason I show you this is that imagine if you wanted to find all the points that were further away, okay, so the, all the set of points that are further away than this, than this distance, this radius, right? Well, what you would do then is you'd say, well, hmm, instead of making this equals r squared, I'm gonna make it greater than the radius squared. So greater than means it's gonna be further away. Now, what happens if I wanna include the points on the circle? Say I want this to be like a solid line, okay? Meaning it's including all those data points. Well, then it would be greater than or equal to r squared, right? Say I want all the points that are closer or on the inside of the circle, meaning closer to the center, we want that distance to be less than the radius, right? Then what we would do is we would do less than, okay, or if you wanna include the points that are on the circle as well, less than or equal to. So basically, if you know the equation of your circle, this guy right here, right, you're gonna be able to do the inequalities, greater than, further away, less than, closer to the center, that's the inside. So let's jump into a couple examples here, see if you can do these, how would you write the uh, circle inequality for the set of points that are shaded here. Well, let's see, we can find the center. You can see the center point is gonna be at three comma three. So this is gonna be x minus three squared plus y minus three, the quantity squared, right? And since we're shading on the inside of the circle, this is gonna be less than, not equal to, because you can see this is a dashed or dotted line for the circle, meaning it's not including the points you know, on the circle. And then it looks like our radius here, you can see is a radius of three, but remember we wanna square that, that's the radius squared, so it's gonna be less than nine. Okay, so you're with me so far? So now if it was equal to, you know, it would include these points on the circle, right? Okay, let's do this one here. So number two, it says graph x plus one squared plus y squared is greater than or equal to four. Okay, so let's take a look. So here the center is at negative one, zero, Okay, right, see our, our h and our k. But remember the one that's grouped with the x, this actually has the opposite effect on the graph. So the plus one is actually shifting at left one. And this one you can see is really like y minus zero or y plus zero. So it's just gonna be here at negative one comma zero, that's our center. And then the radius is actually two. See how this is r squared? See r squared? So if we take the square root, that's gonna be two. So I'm gonna go up two, down two, right two, and left two, okay just to kind of give us some key points, some easy to identify points, and see how this is greater than or equal to. So equal to means it includes the points on the circle, okay, as well as the points that are greater than, meaning further away. So we're actually gonna be shading the outside of the circle like that, okay? So less than, inside, greater than, outside, equal to, solid line, not equal to, dash or dotted line. So a couple of easy examples to, to grasp, but again, it comes from the distance formula. It also comes from the equation that we learned about uh, for circles. So that wraps up this video. I hope this helped you to understand this concept better. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.